Hi everyone, my name is Alyssa and I have just finished my 4A term at the University of Waterloo in the mathematics program. Um, I'm here today with Peter Nelson and I'm going to be asking him some questions about the mathematical optimization major. I'll let him now introduce himself. Hi Alyssa, uh, my name is Peter Nelson. I'm an associate professor in the combinatorics and optimization department and I'm also the undergraduate chair. So I guess to kick it off, um, can I first ask you, how would you describe what mathematical optimization is all about? Mathematical optimization is all about the, the theory and practice of solving large scale industrial problems. So when you solve a calculus problem in first year, you might be finding the optimum value of a function with one variable and maybe one constraint. In, in optimization, <clears throat> you'll solve problems like this, except with maybe hundreds or thousands of variables and hundreds or thousands of constraints. Of course, those are the types of problems that appear in the real world. Mm -hmm. Definitely something I think I've seen in some supply chain management courses where it's about like you need to try to get resources from one place to another and you have all these constraints on which roads you can take or whatnot and things exactly. like that. Such is the real world. <laughs> and so um, what do you wish that students would know before choosing mathematical optimization as a major or even a minor? Uh, the main thing I'm interested in seeing is that students are picking a major or minor that's right for them. I think the best way for a, for a student to find out <clears throat> if mathematical optimization works for them is to take our introductory course in optimization, CO250. If you like the material in that course, then it's very likely you'll like to study mathematical optimization. Mm -hmm. That's a fair point. I think I actually took that course and uh, that's what led me to take uh, CO342 with you. <laughs> but I didn't go the optimization route. I went the uh, graph theory route instead. Um, but I guess uh, since you have so much experience, I'd be I'd be interested to know what do you love about this field or discipline, and and what's what sort of excites you about the field? Uh, well, as a mathematician, I always like seeing beautiful beautiful mathematics come out of things, and I think with optimization, what I love about it is the way that beautiful and deep mathematics comes out of asking very simple questions. So like in your example, you have a simple problem of trying to get a product from A to B in the most efficient way possible. But when you study this, you'll see polyhedra, you'll see continuous optimization, you'll see all, all sorts of wonderful mathematics that comes out of such a simple practical question. Mm -hmm. Definitely uh, the beautiful world of math. <laughs> um, and what kind of careers do you think can be pursued with this major? The career options for <clears throat> for uh, mathematical optimization graduates are almost limitless. Anyone that's doing anything on a large enough scale will have an optimization problem to solve. And if you have an optimization degree, you'll be able to solve it. That includes finance, tech, the energy sector, and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I'm right now on co-op in sort of finance and it's one thing sort of to have Excel solve the problem for you, but I think it's a totally different world to actually understand all the math that's going on behind it. So I think that's definitely a very good use for the degree. Exactly, and I think that that understanding behind the problem as well as just having the skills to solve it uh, are what set our graduates apart from someone that just has a computer science or a math degree. Mm -hmm. And uh, leading into sort of my last question, how is mathematical optimization different from CO or combinatorics and optimization? Well, both these courses are offered by the same department and they have a lot in common. And you'll see that from looking at the course descriptions. The difference is really that the mathematical optimization degree is much more focused on the practical side of things. So the combinatorics and optimization degree, your breadth requirements are elsewhere in mathematics. So you'll be taking group theory and so on. If you study mathematical optimization, your breadth requirements will be in things like statistics, computer science, management science, business, etc. Okay, that's pretty interesting. I didn't know that. <laughs> I took CO because uh, it I didn't need to take a lot of courses outside of my sort of required courses for my degree. Um, but it's cool to see this whole other side of the water. I didn't even know mathematical optimization was around. Mm -hmm. Uh, cool. Okay. Well, thank you so much for meeting with me to chat about mathematical optimization today. I feel like I learned a lot and I hope that everybody watching has learned a little bit as well. Thanks very much, Alyssa. It was great to talk to you.